Warning! This video contains major spoilers for basically the entire Lord of the Rings series. Of course, if you've already seen the movies, like half the country, it won't bother you. However, it does contain spoilers for the books, if you ever intend to read those, and appendixes, if you ever want to read those. I highly suggest it, even though they're slow and eruditous. You have been warned. Click away now, before the madness begins. Okay, so I was on the internet, not today, a few days ago, and I saw something along the lines of, I can't believe they even put Gimli and Legolas into these movies, they are so annoying, why are they even there, lol. Sweetheart, let me tell you something about Gimli and Legolas. Not only did Gimli, son of Gloin, of Erebor, and Legolas, son of Thranduil, the Prince of Mirkwood, play a major part in the story, they have hugely important roles in The Two Towers, which is the second book. And let me tell you something else. They get like an entire chapter, which is just them bonding. First of all, dwarves and elves hate each other. Like, really hate each other. They hate each other's environments. Dwarves hate the woods. They hate it. It's all like trees, but there's no roof, and they're like, Ehh. And it's elves, they hate caves and caverns and mountains, and they're just like, Ugh, where's the sun? Ugh, where's the growing things? Ugh. But, in the Two Towers, in the chapter, The Road to Isengard, in this copy, on um, page 66, it says this. You move me, Gimli, said Legolas. I have never heard you speak like this before. Almost you make me regret that I have not seen these caves. He's peeking about Helm's Deep, BT dubs. Come, let us make this bargain. If we both return, safe from our... safe... Out of the perils that await us, we will journey for a while together. You shall visit Fangorn with me, and then I will come with you to see Helm's Deep. Fangorn's the forest with the ends, you know, tree beard, ho oh, oh, oh. That would not be the way of return that I should choose, said Gimli, but I will endure in Fangorn if I have your promise to come back to the caves and share their wonder with me. You have my promise. Tell me they're not friends. Tell me! And then, later, in the... What do you want? I don't know. <laughs> when you're down there, come help me find it. In the appendixes, it says Legolas is going to the Undying Lands. Yay! Gimli is not. And Legolas is like, ah, oh, girl, no way. So he builds a boat, and he says, Gimli, brah, come on. And Gimli's like, what? Because he's old. And he's like, no, this is my dwarf. I'm keeping him. And in the boat that Legolas built, he takes Gimli with him to the Undying Lands. Tell me they're not best friends. Tell me. And after they had discovered, they had, like, run around adventuring in Fangorn Forest and Helm's Deep, and they were like, okay, we're done with adventuring. Guess who was there for them? Aragorn! The third party in their awesome friendship of life, known as the Fellowship. They... He was like, hey guys, I got you, come live with me. And Gimli was, I'm going to be the treasurer and I'm going to look at all the jewels and fancy stuff and I'm going to make you rich. And he did, and he was like, this be emerald, this be ruby, this be worth eight million billion dollars. And then Legolas is like, that bush goes over there and that tree goes over there. Because he was like the royal gardener guy. Anyway, they were like together from the moment they left Elrond's council. They were bros. And don't forget that elves and dwarves are supposed to hate each other. This book series is full of people shooting down conventions and this and that and the other. Aragorn, my fate is to be doomed to repeat Isildur's failures. Ah, uh -uh, I ain't doing that. And what does he do? He helps destroy the ring that originally ruined his plot line. L line of blood. <laughs> and Eowyn's over here like, I am a woman. I will go to war. And everyone else is like, no. And she's like, yes. And then the Nazgul guy is like, no man can defeat me. And she's like, well, I'm not a man. Lalia, bam. And she kills him. If that's not feminism, I don't know what is. And Gandalf is over here like, y'all thought I was dead. First of all, Gandalf. And then Sam is over here like, I could have abandoned you any time, but I didn't. Because that's what family is. Family isn't just blood. Family isn't just blood. Family isn't just blood. And then 
Not only that, but not long after the destruction of the ring, they were all together and happy again. And they were all like, yay, if only Boromir was here. And Faramir walks in the room and says, guys, I'm getting married. And Eowyn's like, I concur. And they get married. And she becomes the leader of Rohan. Not Faramir. He's like, I'm a guy. I'm her husband. I'm not in charge. And she's over here like, I'm in charge. Who's the queen of Rohan? Who? And her brother, Eomir, is just like, I defer to her. Girl be boss. And Aragorn and Arwen, who's originally supposed to sail away and not stay there with the man she loved, are over here like, yeah, Gondor! Yeah! I just finished watching all three extended editions this weekend with my family. Emotions. All right, you know where to find me on Wattpad and DeviantArt and Tumblr, and obviously, you need to subscribe. I will be doing a lot more things in the future. Who's ready for New York? Whoop, whoop! Let's all get our moonshine on with the Lord of the Rings.